now the invigorating challenges of a foreign visit. Exotic food, halting conversations, but here in Hanoi, the biggest hurdle may be just getting across the street. This is Thomas Fuller reporting for the New York Times. With nearly four million motorcycles and mopeds registered in the Vietnamese capital, it can feel like they're all barreling down towards you at once. The honking and two-cycle cacophony starts early in the morning and continues well into the night. Motorcycles are crucial cargo carriers, both inside Hanoi and beyond. Mats, mirrors, sacks of trash, construction materials, of course people too. This is the Vietnamese version of a family station wagon. Crossing a single street can take a considerable investment in time, especially at rush hour. This woman tried, and tried, and tried again. Her opening came when a flood of motorcycles brought traffic to a halt. Locals may be used to the challenge, but central Hanoi is filled with tourists. Vietnamese law dictates that motorcycles must stop for pedestrians at crosswalks. Really? David Cadman, an English teacher who's lived in Hanoi for the past five years, offered tips on crossing the road. Never run, never rush, don't move suddenly, because they're predicting you're going to move forward, so they'll adjust for that. Describing is one thing, demonstrating is another. And start moving. And they should pass around you, but watch for that car further up and the traffic joining. And rest in the middle. Sidewalks in Vietnam are no safe haven either. And when it's particularly heavy traffic, of course, the pavements double up as uh, roads. But I don't think that's legal. The sheer volume of motorcycles has spawned cottage industries. Shops have sprung up selling face masks and ponchos. Women can choose between standard helmets or ones designed to accommodate ponytails. The traffic can look treacherous, but Hanoi's residents say traffic slows motorcycles so much that accidents, when they occur, are usually very minor. Tran Thi Sen sells donuts on the street every day from 6 in the morning until 9 at night. Some tourists are petrified the first time they face a crosswalk. Nicola Williams, a visitor from England, called it a major culture shock. But after a few challenging crossings, she got used to it and even enjoyed the challenge. But yeah, so far, we've, we're still alive, so... <laughs> 